out. Get him, boy.
watchtower. Should be well stocked. You're yeah. not welcome here. <sighs>
to keep your granaries full.
Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy! Well, don't just stand there gawping! Rescue him! All right, where is he? My! I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go, and see that you kill the beast. Someone whose son's in mortal danger. He didn't seem all that worried. Something's not right here. I need to be careful. But the wolf! It's going to eat me! But if I can help it. You are supposed to die! Father will have you whipped for this! Bearers aren't supposed to win, they never win! What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that, we were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this! The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this, before it happens again. Yeah. 
here this instant. How dare you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See? I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. That unlucky wretch would be me. I'm my own master. I'm beholden to no one. And I take orders from no one. Lies! Do you think I cannot see that brand on your face? Shut your mouth and listen. Those bearers you killed, they were people. They felt fear and pain, just as you do. And unless you wish to share in their suffering, you would do well to remember we are not your playthings. Father, he's scaring me. How dare you threaten us? How dare you? Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. I'm wasting my time, but I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? victims of the nobles games you must be Clive how do you know my name the dame I'm in her service like yourself never gets any easier burying the dead is that what you're here to do the mistress has me see to it the none are left to the crows since you're here can you give me a hand Gladly. Let's put them to rest. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well... You can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. Father! Father! Is this your doing? Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? 
The realm's less two murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. For the help. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our paths may cross again. Till then. Chloe, I let her out of her pen while I did my chores, but she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind, and she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big, but she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday, and it's my job to feed her. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. It's a lot of field to search. But with a little luck, someone might have seen her. You work these fields? I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's plaything. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have Idle branded underfoot. Napping on the job. I hope they don't mind the interruption. The crystal's curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? What? Get up now. 
You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? <sighs> Why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloes had pretty hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The Crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No, don't, don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter, just like you. Dad said bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... Another branded drop in the field yesterday. How do they expect us to finish the? My gone. One's the capital.